shots. You could throw them a million times and never get anywhere near the shelf, but one little challenge and bullseye. Randy, throwing it from the treehouse through an open window was not the best idea. Ugh, this is boring. There's nothing to do in this lame town. Let's go do something fun. My dad would appreciate it if you called it by its real name, Serenity, instead of Lame Town. Well, he's the mayor, so what do you expect? Hey, why don't we go ex go explore out of the town? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've never been out of town. No one's ever been out of town. My dad would kill me. Ella, your old man is way too overprotective. Come on, Ella, live a little. Fine. But only for a few minutes. Okay. I still have a bad feeling about this, Randy. Stop being such a baby. There's the now leaving Serenity sign. We're almost there and nothing bad has happened. I told you so. Ella? All of a sudden, I feel really sick. We have eyes on the victim. Oh, it's those purple people eater guys from town. What are they doing here? Did they follow us? Victim is secure. Over. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Hey, this is Wake up. Dad? You gave us quite a scare there. You were unconscious for two days. What happened? Oh, it was probably just a severe acid reflux. But you were lucky the surety stumbled upon you when they did. Stumbled? Is that what you call a giant helicopter filled with purple people eaters descending from the sky in a blizzard of fine dust? Randy, it's respectful to call your protectors that name. You are to call them the surety. Whatever. Randy, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You sure? Yes, everything just fine and dandy. Doesn't sound like it. Ella, I'm sorry that you have to hear this, but... I have to move. What? Why? Your friend is to be placed in Colorado to live with your grandparents for security reasons. What kind of reasons? That's classified. That makes no sense. Well, you need to get some rest. Come on, Randy. Wait, you're leaving now? Sorry, Ella, but they've already decided that I have to leave. Who's they? That's also classified. Goodbye, Ella. I'll write you. Can't you just call me when you... I'll write. Hey, have you heard anything from Randy? No, it's been two weeks since he dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. She told me she'd write. It was the last thing she said to me. She was probably just really stressed out that day. Yeah, but she acted like it was the most important thing in the world to her. And she made such a big deal out of it, but she hasn't written. But I think she did write. I think there's a secret message for me somewhere. Secret message? Why would Randy leave a secret message? To explain why she moved away so fast, and I'm determined to find it. That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> yes, it does. It makes perfect sense. Let's move. Doesn't this seem a little crazy? Not as crazy as Randy moving away for no reason. What if there's no secret message? Just keep looking for something, Tori. There's nothing here except this old frisbee. Hang on a minute. That was stuck behind a shelf. Me and Randy could never get it out. Wait, where are you going? Aha! I told you, Tori! Wow, Randy did leave me a secret message. Well, we did it. Ella, I'm not going to live with my grandparents like your dad says. I'm being sent away to a boarding school called McNally Academy in Pueblo, Colorado because I know too much and they think that I could ruin their plan, whatever their plan is. I think it's because of what happened when we were walking out of town that day. I can't explain how, but I think some of the Serenity, kids in Serenity, including you, are special. I'm positive that the answer lies in why you got sick at the town line and I did it. Since you are reading this, you're smart enough to follow the clues. Thanks for that. Since I'm not allowed to contact you, this is the only goodbye we're ever going to get. Protect yourself, Bella.
There's something weird going on in that town. Randy. This is nuts! Maybe she's telling the truth. You'll actually take this seriously? He probably just wrote that to play some prank on you. Maybe. Be real, Ella. There's nothing weird going on in this town. But there is something weird going on with Randy. Are you even listening to me, Ella? Hey, Ella. Hey, Hannah. I got a few things about Randy's note lately. Oh, Ella, you have to get that ridiculous nonsense out of your head. Randy was just trying to mess with you. That was probably just a joke. But have you guys noticed anything weird going on? This book is so good. And no, Ella, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Serenity. Think about it. No one in Serenity has ever left town. And when me and Randy try to leave, I mysteriously get sick, and some purple people eaters swoop in and take me back. They're called the story. So what are you saying? I'm saying that maybe we're coming down for a reason. Yeah, that reason is safety. No, I think we're like prisoners. Maybe you need to lie down, Ella. No, I don't need to lie down, because I think I'm right. Okay, then just give me one reason I should believe you. Okay, I will. I think that the plastics factory doesn't really make plastic. And sure, my hair is green now? I'm serious. I've been noticing that daily out of supposedly freshly made traffic cones have been the same traffic cones on the delivery trucks for years. And how can we be so sure? The store has a lot of flaws, Ella. Maybe she's right. So now you're chatting with the crazy lady? No, listen, once I was skateboarding down a hill by the plastic factory, when one of the traffic cone trucks came out, I was going down the hill so fast that I jumped off and so it wouldn't run over me. When I jumped off, the skateboard sprayed some dirt all over the cones. So? So, haven't you guys noticed that, that the same mud stain is still on some of those traffic cones? That means that they really aren't making new ones every day. It's just the same bunch over and over again. See? Now that you mention it, I have noticed some of the traffic cone trucks still go around the block all day long without dropping off any traffic cones. Then when the day is over, they just go back to the plastic factory. But why would they do that? Because there is something going on with Serenity. I'm going to find out what. And how are you going to do that? By breaking into the plastic factory. How else? Ooh, a break-in? I'm in. Me too. Maybe Wendy was trying to warn us after all. All of you are insane. I don't want no part in this. Meet me at the plastic factory at midnight tonight. Exactly. What could they be hiding? Well, how are we going to get in? All the doors are locked, and picking locks isn't exactly something that's taught in Serenity. Isn't it obvious? We go through the vents. She said that some kids in Serenity were special. I don't get it. Why have we been studied on from the moment we were born and not any of the other kids in Serenity? What's so special about us? I feel violated. Totally creeped out. Quick, someone's coming! I could have sworn I heard someone in here. Who turned on the lights? 
Someone probably left them on. Come on, let's go rewatch that Super Bowl. I don't know if I can stand watching the Falcons lose again. Yeah, the Patriots are way better. Can't believe they blew a 25 point lead! There has to be a logical explanation for all of this. There is. We're science experiments, and Randy was right about everything. Where were you? You were we were supposed to meet to work on our project 20 minutes ago. Sorry, Amber. I had a rough night. I just forgot. Well, stop forgetting. We have a lot of work to do. Oh, wait. I forgot my notebook. I'll be right back. You can start the project. We'll hurry up. What is this? Really? Because it looks like you've been spying on me, Ella, Mia, and Hannah, and taking pictures of them. Why do you even have notes of their actions and behavior? Why do you even have documents of our entire life? Tori, what is this? I, I can't tell you. Oh, I see. So have you been keeping secrets from me? I thought that best friends were supposed to tell each other everything. But if you can't tell me what's going on, I guess we're not best friends. Well, we are. You just don't understand. I get it. You don't trust me. I do. It's just you wouldn't believe me. Try me. I deserve to know what's going on with you. Uh, okay. I'll tell you. I still don't believe any of this. I told you that you wouldn't believe me. This is our parents we're talking about. Why would they keep a big secret from us? I mean... Guys, guys, I figured it out! Figured out what? Everything! You did? Yeah, I was just searching up the internet for Project Osiris, but nothing came up until I hacked the computer, and this page showed up. Project Osiris is a top-secret experiment in human behavior proposed by social scientist Dr. Felix Hammerstrom in the late 1990s. Wait, Hammerstrom? That's my dad's old name before he changed it. And my dad's first name is Felix. He must be Felix Hammerstrom. Keep reading. Arise's purpose was to explore criminality. Is a dangerous criminal born evil, or does he, or does he or she become evil through environmental influence and experience? The results were supposed to revolutionize our thinking with regard to the court and penal system and change crime and punishment as we know it. The proposed experiment involved human cloning, making exact genetic twins of the most dangerous, ruthless criminal mastermind in prison today. The babies born would be raised by gentle parents in an isolated community that would not be exposed to any violence. These clone children would be exact replicas of the very worst in human society, yet they would be free of all negative influence. Careful monitoring, monitoring would reveal if the clones were really born evil or if their dental environment raised them to be kind adults. However, human cloning was considered inhuman and wrong. Human cloning was made illegal and Project Osiris was cancelled. Dr. Hammerstrom dropped out of sight and was never seen again. Whoa. Does this mean our entire lives have been a lie? Yeah, and Ella's dad is the one in charge of it all. But why do we get sick at the town line? It must be some kind of invisible barrier that only we can fill so we can't escape the town. And the purple people eaters are some kind of guards for us to make sure we can't get out. We've got to get out of here. You mean escape? How? And even if we do get past the barrier, where will we go? We don't know anybody outside of town. Yes, we do. We know Randy. It will be almost impossible to escape. How will we do it and when will we all do it? On Serenity Day, everyone's distracted and celebrating. And when the fireworks start, that's when we make our move. Have a nice
Hi, today it's Rin and Fair. So, does everybody have their bikes? Yeah. I used to love Serenity Day. But now we know it's all fake. Even our so-called founder is fake. The ice cream isn't fake, so let's go get some. No! We have to focus. The speeches are about to be given and the fireworks will start. Can I just get some Rocky Road? No! Can I have everybody's attention, please? Oh. It is with great pleasure that I begin the speeches celebrating the 164th Serenity Anniversary. Well, like the 12th. After being mayor of this town for 30 years, he's such a liar. But he's very good at it. Contenders. Hey guys, what are we doing? Melly, we weren't supposed to distract ourselves with buttery treats. Oh, I wasn't listening. Take them back to town. Let's see what Dr. Hammerstrom has to say about this. Rand, oh, wrong <laughs> Rand, he's throwing it through the, from, okay, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I brought it. I brought it. Ellie, I messed up. Stop being such a baby. Baby. Hi, hi, world. What are you doing? So I think we should what? do it again. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch that. Rewatch that. <laughs> I used to love certain. Oh. I used to love certain. Oh. Hi. <laughs> what you doing? That's good. Walking is good. Walking is healthy. Yeah.